Fusion Mobile Quality e-learning experience on the go. Industry. Localization of industry. This refers to the concentration of firms and industries producing similar products in an area. Factors that favor localization are access to raw materials, availability of marketing facilities, joint research and training centers, government policy, government policy, availability of labor, presence of technical economy, access to raw materials. This factor is important if the industry is a raw material oriented. An industry is a raw material oriented when the raw materials are bulky with a high cost in transportation. Availability of marketing facilities. The concentration of industries in a particular area could be a way by which their products can easily be marketed. Joint research and training centers. Research and training centers can easily be jointly established since all the industries involved are producing similar products. The cost of such projects will be minimal when it is jointly financed. Government policy. Government can play a specific role towards the localization of industries, either for economic, geographical, political, or strategic reasons. Availability of labor. The large pool of labor encourages firms to come together, resulting in localization. The availability of such labor promotes industrial growth. So, presence of technical economies. The concentration of things that use the same type of spare parts or components in production may be located near industries which produce such spare parts. Industrialization. This can be defined as a process of transforming an economy based on extractive activities into one based on manufacturing. Role of industrialization in economic development of the nation. Increase in the cross national product GMP. Employment opportunities. International trade. Stimulation of other sectors. Control of inflation due to mass production. Technological development. Infrastructural development. Increase in gross national product GMP. The industrial sector, through these operations, like payment of taxes, increases the earning accruable to the nation. Employment opportunities. Industries provide employment jobs for many people. International trade. This improves trade balance. Most of the products of manufacturing industries, like machineries, are usually imported from Western nations. This forms the basis for international trade and improves the trade balance between countries. Stimulation of other sectors. The industrial sector stimulates the growth of other sectors like agriculture, mining, lumbering, etc. Control of inflation due to the mass production. With modern technology, products like cars, machinery, etc. can be mass produced. This can help to reduce inflation. Technological development. Industrialization can also lead to the development of technology in the country. Infrastructural development. The establishment of an industry in a place stimulates the development of infrastructural facilities like roads, telephone, electricity, pipe on water, etc. It's by which governments can encourage industrialization are task concession to pioneer industries, protection of infant industries, development of infrastructural facilities, establishment of industrial estates, establishment of Nigerian enterprises, establishment of financial institutions, task concession to pioneer industries. The federal government gives task concession to pioneer industries for a specified number of years during which the industry will not pay tax.
protection of infant industries. Yeah, the government protests the infant industries through high import duties, outright ban or placement of quotas on imported commodities which competes with those of home industries. Development of infrastructural facilities. Government has also embarked on the construction of better roads network, especially the express roads, efficient telecommunications, electricity and water supply system, establishment of industrial estates. The government should also establish industrial estates and thus reduce the problem of locating industries in urban areas. Establishment of Nigerian Enterprises The Nigerian Enterprise Promotion Decree of 1972 was set up by the federal military government in an attempt to transfer part of the profits generated in Nigeria to the local people. Establishment of financial institutions. The government has established financial institutions to aid private enterprises. Example, Nigerian Bank for Commerce and Industry and Nigerian Industrial Bank. Strategies of Industrialization. Import Substitution Strategy. The Export Promotion Strategy, the Small Scale and Large Scale Development, the Import Substitution Strategy. This involves deliberate attempts by the government aimed at encouraging the growth of industries within the country which produce goods and services which would otherwise have been imported. Export Promotion Strategy. Here, this is also a deliberate government policy aimed at encouraging the production of commodities for exports. The government can also do this through the granting of tax concession, reducing export duty, finding a realistic exchange rate, and providing assistance on export costing and pricing. The small scale and large scale development strategy. Yeah, government also encourages development of small and large scale industries with the aim of developing the industrial sector of the economy. The small scale industries under the small scale industrial scheme encourages the establishment of such industries in rural areas. In other words, to provide employment to the rural people and prevent rural urban migration. With it for citing industries in rural areas in Nigeria. The reasons are development of rural areas, to discourage rural urban migration, provision of employment, increased production of goods, increased earnings for rural people, encourages rural encourages urban rural migration, development of rural areas. The sighting of industries will lead to the development of rural areas and to discourage rural urban migration. When industries are located in rural areas, it will go a long way in discouraging the movement of people from rural areas to urban centers. Provision of employment. Industries so established in rural areas will provide employment for skilled and unskilled labor in rural areas, increase production of goods. Industries that are located in rural areas will increase the availability of goods to the rural populace, increase earnings for rural people. The rural people so employed in the industries are also going to earn more salaries from their places of work. Ages urban rural migration. The sizing of industries in rural areas will also attract the movement of people from the cities to the rural areas, thereby decongesting the cities. With this force, concentrating industries in urban centers. That is to say, reasons for sizing industries in urban centers. The reasons for sizing industries in urban centers are large markets, Availability of labor, good transportation network, nearness to seaports and airports, availability of finance, 
presence of infrastructural facilities. Indigenization. This is a transfer of ownership and control of business enterprises from foreigners to indigenous. Nationalization. This is a deliberate policy by which government takes over control and ownership of private enterprises due to economic, political, social, and strategic reasons. Commercialization. It is a policy get towards making state-owned enterprises to become more efficient and profit-oriented. Privatization. It is a policy designed to enable individuals and private or corporate organizations to take over the ownership and control of government businesses such as public companies and corporations, joint ventures. This refers to those businesses in which private investors and governments are in partnership.